Hello, my name is Jeff Southern. I'm an automation specialist with Monot McKay. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Rockwell System Ferret Tool. I will be using the tool to scan this demo box to show you all of the software and hardware that's in that box. The first thing that you need to do is start the program. Once the program comes up, you get a basic user interface. If you want to learn more about how the tool works, click on the About box and then the help file. This will bring up the PDF help file that gives some basic information of how to use the tool. To use the tool, the first thing you'll want to do is to set your starting scan path. In this case, I'm going to use the Ethernet IP driver. The level uh, software is how deep you want the system to scan. If you set it to level one, it will scan for all the communication adapters on the Ethernet cable. If you set it to level two, it will find all the I.O. cards or cards within the chassis it finds on the adapters. And level three, for example, would go out each communication adapter and find any additional information it saw. In this case, we're going to use level zero, which will scan anything it can find on the network. So first you start the scan. It will give you a couple of warnings about scanning. And if you are running process logics, make sure you shut process logics down as the tool can interfere with it. Once you start the scan, it will start looking for devices on the network you've chosen. In this case, it found eight devices across four levels on the network. Once the system is complete, it has saved the information in XML format. You can view in any file format you want, including clear text, XLS, or a Excel inventory file. I actually prefer the standard Excel XLS file. Once the conversion is complete, you can view the file. And you get some good information about what you've scanned. In this case, it shows the product name, the product type, the product code, the vendor ID, which is typically going to be Rockwell. It shows you the software and firmware revisions. And it shows the serial numbers and even the communication path where the devices were found. This is some very useful information if you were to have to do a product service advisory or you simply want to find out more information about the equipment in your plant. It's a great tool to use anytime you get a new piece of equipment in your plant to document what's there and you can even use it to uh, get parts that you may want to keep in inventory to support that equipment. For additional questions or more videos like this, please give us a call or visit our website.